okay we are here ready to start shelling the sarrel so there is it look it's jimmy come all right so she's the expert and shelling the sarrel so you know what to do <laughs> to get the sarrel stain off the hand so unlike her she want to mess up her beautiful nails <laughs> with that red reddish look from the sarrel so in here will be the sarrel seed you can put this to dry and further down after it dry you can plant it and when the season come on for the sorrel to bear you will have that lovely plant to bear your sorrel so this is how this is how you take the um the sorrel flesh from the seed you open it like this and you go around so you get everything from it so this is the fruit from the seed so this is what we will put in the pot to draw Hey, young Brian. Mm -hmm. Hey, young. Yeah. No matter. And this is the part that have in the seeds that you can put to dry and can get the seeds to replant. So after the seeds are dry, this is what they look like. So these are ready to plant. So you place four or five into one hole in the soil and yeah, a couple of days from now they will start to pop up. So these are dry sour seeds. So wait. Uh, shell. <laughs> <laughs> When they pull, if they chip off quicker, you know? Mm -hmm. They're fully full. No one left, they do full. But when they're young, they take longer to chip off. Oh, okay. When they're full, they just broke off quick. Yeah, if I'm alone, we're not chipping, we're just cut out a little. I'm washing them and dry them. Mm -hmm. Okay, my friends. So that's the way how you strip the seed from sorrel. So tune in for more videos regarding the sorrels and how to make sorrel juice, sorrel wine, sorrel jam, anything you can name with sorrel. Stay safe, my friend. Bye bye.